limited options available in earlier times resulted in the gaining of monopolies over all things, political power, economic opportunities, and religion. Everything was monopolized by one group or another. Human beings were then divided into two groups, the haves and the have-nots. This division of people was bound to create a clash of interests and was the main reason why people were earlier engaged in war. The age of democracy brought the demonopolization of political power. Modern industrialization was the outcome of demonopolization in terms of economic opportunities. The modern age of intellectual freedom made possible the demonopolization of religious dogmatism. The emergence of modern science led to the demonopolization of ideological regimentation. Now that everything has come within everyone's reach, so that there is no question of having to indulge in violence to gain one's ends, modern civilization has virtually decentralized all the opportunities of life. It has become possible for everyone to be free to achieve what he or she wants to achieve in the field of his or her choice. If today an individual wants to have political power, he does not need to wage war. In ancient times, a change in government could be brought about only by fighting and unseating the ruler from his throne. In a democracy, it is possible to take the place of the ruling party by the peaceful process of holding elections. The demonopolization of resources in the modern age has made the violent method totally irrelevant. Now, by peaceful methods, everything can be attained on a much greater scale.